This is a quick video about how to use normal maps with Castle Game Engine. To be more precise, how to design a model in Blender, export it to GLTF, and then see the normal maps in Castle Game Engine. Uh, normal maps are basically a way to show a little, little details on your uh, on the surface of your three-dimensional models. Those little details can be affected by lighting and, well, they basically make your 3D models more realistic. Okay, so let's jump in. So the first thing to say is that you don't really have to remember everything that I'm saying here. We're basically following our manual, castellengine.io slash blender, and actually not really following our manual. Our manual really links to the blender uh, exporter from blender to gltf manual, and this is really excellent. It's full of details about how you should prepare your model in order to make it export correctly to gltf, and we are really Really just going to follow this section so nothing really terribly surprising you we're just going to follow the section then export the model to GLTF and it's just going to work in Castle Game Engine and at least that's the plan okay so let's see how it goes uh, so let's jump in so I have on my desktop a uh, regular texture brick.png and a normal map that I have prepared earlier okay at the end of this video I will also show you how to bake your own normal maps but for now let's start with something ready okay ignore the fact that it has some alpha channel with transparency this doesn't matter for now imagine that it's opaque okay so no alpha channel you don't need the alpha channel here uh, I, I use the alpha channel here to express the height but it's not really necessary for this case okay so we have a normal map now let's create a model in blender that will actually use this normal map okay so let's run blender we have our standard cube, we don't really need the camera or the lighting. Okay, so let's just apply our texture over a cube, okay? So we can go to the shading, uh, to the shading view, okay? And this is the material of our cube, okay? You want the cube to use the principal BSDF uh, surface type in Blender, which is actually like Blender default way of rendering materials if you want to have a physical based rendering uh, workflow. Okay, so this is default and this is good and we are going to use it. Okay, so we take, uh, we create a new node. I'm pressing the Shift A to create a new node, texture node, image texture. And here I'm going to assign my normal map texture, okay? Let me just first save my model to the desktop so that it's easy. Let's call it test2 because we have test1 already, okay? So let's pick the normal map, okay? So that's it. And now I can't really connect... The, I want to connect this normal map to the normal input here. I can't, I should not really do it because I actually want to convert those normal those colors from the normal maps into well a suitable output input for the normal vectors for geometry so i actually want to use a normal map box here okay now i connect my texture to the normal map box and the normals to my materials and that's it you actually already see that it uh, it works right right it works in blender the normal map has been applied to my cube and it looks uh, it looks amazing for this demo, yeah, because I didn't even care to choose a proper texture or to make any kind of suitable texture coordinate mapping. So it works, it works as expected, okay? We can actually go one step further and also assign here our regular texture. This is not connected, of course, not, not this is independent from assigning the regular normal map, but of course, well, since we're configuring the textures, we can also assign here the regular texture. Oh, by the way, the color space of the normal map should be non-color to make it render perfectly, okay? So, the cube has applied, we have applied a normal map to the cube material in Blender, correct? Yeah, nothing really about GLTF, sorry, nothing about Blender was specific here was shown yet, okay? And to be honest, also nothing specific about GLTF. Yeah? This is how you would regularly apply a normal map to an object in Blender. Uh, we can actually confirm that it works in Blender if you would like to, yeah? So let's activate the, uh, the like full viewport shading. Let's add some light in Blender. We are going to remove it. I don't want to use this lighting for custom game 
change the rendering, uh, although I could, yeah, but I don't want to. But let me just demonstrate that this light works and that our normal map works, our normal map is correctly affected by lighting, okay? So cool, it works. Now I don't want to have this light anymore, I have deleted it and now I'm just going to export my model to the GLTF file. Uh, remember that we have some advices about how to export your model from Blender to GLTF on our web page. Ah, basically for the simple test, it doesn't matter. The default options are fine. So you can just place a uh, press export GLTF and that's it. You have created a cube with a normal map in the GLTF format and that's it. It will just work in Castle Game Engine. Uh, well, you don't have to trust me though, so let's verify it, okay? So let's create a new project, um, another empty project, okay, I have a lot of projects on my disk, <laughs> a lot of test casting game engine projects on my disk, so let's create a new user interface, 3D viewport, I don't want this plane, what I want to, I want to have in my data folder the cube that I have just created, okay, so it's this one, test2.glb, glb is a gltf binary format, okay, so I have pasted the test2.glb file into the data subdirectory of my game, and there it is, we have also, we also see it now in the editor, I can double click it to view it in the view 3D scene, okay, it looks... It looks amazing for this demo, right? So now I can just drag this cube on my scene and now I can move this anywhere I want to and to confirm that the normal maps work. Well, I can now, well, I can do the similar thing that I did in Blender, right? So I'm going to move my light over the cube and see that the cube interacts with uh, with the lighting in kind of an interesting way. And that's thanks to the, thanks to using normal maps. Oh, if you like, should like to confirm it, you can also go to the render options and let's temporarily disable bump mapping, okay? So this is how it would look without normal map, okay? So uh, boring, plain, smooth cube. Yeah, no interesting details on the surface. And if I activate it, if I activate the bump mapping, and, and, uh, yeah, the normal map works okay so this is how you can export your model from blender to gltf and then use it in castle game engine okay so that's the end of the first part of what i wanted to show in this video let me actually show you also another thing a bit unrelated and actually uh, a bit related okay so how so i have described the process so assuming that you have a texture a normal map texture how do you go about using it in custom game engine and in blender okay but now let's actually take a step backward what if i don't have a normal map image yet okay so well, there are a few ways to create it but basically the standard way to create it is to kind of model something in a uh, high poly which means a complicated model with lots and lots of vertexes and then you kind of bake this high poly resolution of your model with a lot of details you kind of bake those details into a normal map texture and then you export a low poly version of your three-dimensional model with your normal map applied, okay? So let's learn baking in Blender, essentially, okay? So this is the second part of this video, okay? So how I would go about it? So the easiest way to do baking from some details is to use the Blender multi-resolution modifier. This is not the only way you can do it in a number of ways in Blender. I just want to show you right now that I guess the simplest possible approach to do it, okay? So I have added the multi-resolution modifier to my amazing cube and now I'm just going to press the linear a few times because now I want to actually have this cube, I want this cube to have more uh, more resolution in a way which means that I want it to have just more vertexes, all right? You don't really see those vertexes, yes, yet, right? But if now we will go, for example, to the sculpt mode, then I can do something like this, okay? And this is where all those vertexes come into play. Yeah? So this is actually no longer a simple cube using uh, six uh, faces, right? Six polygons. I can just, it has a lot, a lot of more polygons and I'm just going now to do something stupid with those polygons just to show you that I can. Okay, so this is this is no longer a cube. This is a cube destroyed by using um, amazing 
making artwork using my sculpt modifier, okay? Now assuming that, okay, now I want to export it to a game engine, like a custom game engine. And I wanted to actually still have a simple cube geometry, so simple six faces, and I want those details that I have now made with my sculpting, by my sculpting, I want to express those details as a normal map texture. So, how I would go about it? Uh, well, I'm just going to use the Blender Baking. Uh, the, 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 yeah, I'm just going to use Baking in Blender, okay? So, first of all, you want to have some image. Let's create a new image. I, I switch to the UV editing view, okay? I'm creating new image. Choose here any resolution you like. I mean, not too small, okay? So, actually, the default is quite okay. By default, Blender has created a black texture with a thousand, uh, 1024 uh, pixels in each side, okay? Now I want to actually put in this texture the contents of my normal map and then I will be able to save it to a PNG file, okay? So how do I do it? Wait, well, first of all, let me tell Blender that this is supposed to be a normal map, okay? So I can go to shading and perform essentially the same dance that we did before, okay? So I want to connect those things, I want to connect them to the normal of my material, alright. I don't want to choose an image from file, I want to choose here my untitled black uh, normal map, okay, so kind of uh, yeah, useless at this point texture. And uh, yeah, that's it, and now I want to bake it. So I want to go to the scene tab in Blender, and I want to change the render engine, okay, because the default render engine in the latest Blender, Eve, well, it doesn't support baking yet. So I want to switch, for example, to, I mean, for example, I want to switch to Cycles, okay? And the Cycles has a nice bake option. And the thing that we want to do, and that is definitely the simplest to use in this case, is just select Bake from Multi-Res, which means Bake from Multi-Resolution Modifier, which means kind of Bake in a normal map the details that I have made using sculpting, okay? So this is, I think this is the simplest approach to baking that you can have, okay? And to actually, oh, to actually export what is happening before I click bake, let's actually switch to the to the view where I can see my texture, okay? Now let's find my baking, uh, let's find my baking tab again. Where was it, where was it? Okay, okay. And now I press bake. And now I wait, and this is what I wanted, right? So this expresses like the small details that I have modeled on my cube. They are kind of expressed here. You can go here and uh, if we would go here and if we would make something even more like drastic, then we would see more drastic effects. Yeah, can we, should we try to do something more drastic? Well, let's try, okay. So, I'm not that good at using the sculpting, but I think if I use this, ah yeah, then I will be able to do something crazy, okay? And I want to do something crazy so that we will see the effect of my crazy action on the normal map, okay? So this this is this this is this is a monster, this no longer deserves to be called a cube. Now let's bake it just to see that uh, the things that I did, they will be reflected on the texture. And there they are. It's not really sensible anymore to actually bake it into a normal map. But the point here is that, well, the actions that I have made using sculpting, they are reflected in the normal map. And if I would make something, well, remotely sensible, then the result would be also, uh, I guess, more sensible. Aha, and then of course, and now this is a normal map image, right? So I can now just save it. I mean, it's an image. I can save it to disk. I can say save as desktop my new normal map uh, with underscores because I guess I like underscores. And that's it. That's how you can create a normal map in Blender. Uh, thank you.